Hey guys, so today we are going to go explore in Tirana, which makes me think of Toronto because I say Tirana when I talk about Toronto. <laughs> so yeah, today we're going to finally go out and explore. We're going to go and see uh, the main center and we will show you some of the bunkers. I think we're looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah. Um, we don't know a lot about the Albanian history currently, so we're actually very much looking forward to learning about it. You want to take the stairs? Yeah, so we've been here like, you know, a week now, and we find that the, the complex is really beautiful. There's lots here. There's a yeah. nice market and lots of little restaurants, but it's really interesting because they're, they're the scene here anyway, which I think is more like a closed complex kind of thing. We haven't really explored much of um, the rest of Toronto, but I think it'll be a bit different. Yeah. So this space, though, is really beautiful, but it's very kind of secluded. Like, you see, there's like the wall here kind of, um, literally all of the restaurants that we have have seen in this complex anyway are for drinks only like there's literally no yeah, food or dinner options. Yeah there's a lot of cafes I mean I'd probably say at least like a, maybe even a dozen cafes and all of them literally just sell coffee and um, are mainly just outside bars to socialize which uh, yeah. I guess is really good like I mean the parents probably come down and have a coffee and let the kids run around yeah play, that's what so it seems like cool, yeah. yeah but but for us it's been really difficult because um we found so far here in georgia you need to have an al or sorry in Al albania you need to have an actual albanian phone number to get the food yeah. app delivery and literally because these restaurants here don't have anything we have to walk like 15 20 minutes to get food yeah. so for us that's not ideal but we'll see what happens but today good for the fitness i guess <laughs> yeah not good for me having a cook. Nice. <laughs> it's cool. it's like a main roundabout area. Yeah, we kind of went the wrong way, which ends up being the right way. There's a big roundabout here and there's a big shopping mall right here. I think that's a shopping mall. Yeah. We didn't really go in and check, but... It's like a London cab. Yeah, but bigger. It's longer. Yeah. Oh no, actually quite similar. It is like a London cab. The hotel that looks Entranceway, we've come from here, uh, the big roundabout, and we're going to go in this way. And I believe the square is there, so we're going to go explore and show you more. Yeah. Okay, so we're here in Albania at um, San Skanderbeg Skanderbeg Square. Um, it's uh, there's not too too much going on here right now. I think they're doing a lot of renovations in the square. The square has been a little bit underwhelming, but that's also coming from you know visiting England and Rome <laughs> just a few days ago. So we might be a little spoiled, but we're really looking forward to finding out the history here and um, learning more because it does have a very interesting history. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Okay, so join us. Let's go. We'll walk. That's hard on the arm, holding. This. <laughs> yeah, well, it's better than actually having to hold the phone, I guess. Yeah. Better for the viewing experience. <laughs> it's very hot. It's like a, at least, what, 32, I think, today? 33? Yeah. Oh, look over there. Oh, wait, hold on. We're going to hear some bells. Yes. Yeah, let's turn around this way. Oh, there was only two bells. Oh, because it's 2 o'clock. That would make sense. I 
I think I think the the front it also is better. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it goes. Yeah. We'll go see. Come check. Come and see more shit. Oh, look. Oh, hi, baby. Oh. So we're going to try the raku, or raku, depending on how you say it. Yes. We're going to try the oda and the mulberry. Like there. Okay, so this one is oda, which is the name of the restaurant, and this one here is uh, the mm. blackberry, mulberry one. This is very strong. I don't want to sh shot it because okay, it's Okay, we'll try it. Show me. Barren. Demonstrating. <laughs> what, okay, wait. Is it more like raki and... Turkey no, or more it's like not, mezcal? No. Raka, it's more like mezcal. Yeah, Raka is smelling more it. like aniseed. This is yeah, yeah, more yeah. like. Hand sanitizer? Like ethanol. -y. <laughs> 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 okay, cheers. It's not going to be bottoms up. By no, way. no, don't. No. She's strong. That's actually not bad. Okay. So we learned that in Mexico, you drink it. As soon as you drink it, you breathe out, like, it's much better. I'm slightly afraid because I know it's more like mezcal and I don't like mezcal, I'm afraid now. It's like the first cha-cha. Go on babe, you can do it, I believe in you. <laughs> oh, the smell, oh, babe. <sighs> breathe out. There you go. <laughs> Actually, it's not so bad. No. It, see? See? Like, it's pretty smooth. Like, it, it burns, but it's pretty smooth. It burns, but not if you breathe out afterwards. <laughs> so, this is what you're going to get, and that is enough for two people. So, two of these. No problem. So obviously, like, you know, alcohol is costly. We had two beers each, and then we had the two rakas. And this is the total. Very hard to see it, actually. Right here. 
little tiny dome kind of covered in everything. So. I guess that was kind of the point, though, right? And what is it, babe? So we're going to Bunk Art Museum, which is a bunker that I believe, I'm not sure, but I believe it was created by the communist regime that ruled Albania from, I believe, like the early 1920s until 1993, I think. And I believe that this was like a posting for the police. Um, I'm not sure. We'll find out, but that's what I think. All right. And another one, another one they have is actually turned into an art gallery, but I think this is the history one, which was we, we were hoping to find. So this <laughs> Bib, it's almost kind of creepy already. It is kind of creepy. <laughs> It's very ominous, the entrance. For me i'm i'm an empath and far too sensitive energetically to do that so but very beautifully displayed um great museum um but yeah pretty uh pretty horrific and um you know i'm really glad that albania has its freedom now and and uh yeah, that's all i have to say about that I thought it was well done it was very informative uh you know I'm, I'm not surprised by some of what i read like i know a little bit about um how these regimes used to be but I think when you see it firsthand like Jen's saying like you definitely feel you know you can feel the, the presence of what happened there uh, for sure um, there were some things down there which I was surprised I didn't expect to see which I did um, but yeah you know it doesn't get any easier the more you learn about these things you know and mm -hmm. this is why um, you know change happened and will hopefully happen elsewhere too Made us a Chico's. <laughs> I got a hot dog, a hot dog to bring to the house, and uh, Leon got a, a cheeseburger. <laughs> Very quick. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All the drinks literally have the Albanian symbol on them, which I think is pretty cool. Gotta love a good pink bill dance. So we're heading over here. This is our building there. The sunset's really nice from our balcony. Oh, you're gonna see it in a second, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's behind. And it's behind. behind. Close. <laughs> we can get it there. There you go. Perfect lighting. <laughs> so uh, that's it for today. We hope you guys enjoyed that day. Like always, probably walked about 25,000 steps, but it was well worth it. And uh, 10,800. Now we're going to eat a burger and a hot dog and chill out and watch some Netflix and chill. See you later. Bye. Yeah.